everybody, how's it going? Got a video for you. So, um, last night did a live stream with um, Heavy Metal Archie with uh, Marty Worm and Alan. I don't know your last name, but that was very fun and uh, hope to do it again. So, uh, today, decided to shoot this video right here, which is basically, I guess uh, I'll call it um, heavy metal that makes it feel like the old days. So there's a wide variety of stuff here with thrash metal, some death rash, some doom, um, some speed metal, some, uh, yeah, that's what it is. And everything here is released between 2015 and 2023. Uh, first up, playing in the background. So, if you know your thrash metal, you know this is German right off the bat. So uh, this is Reactory. The album's called Heavy. And the band's out of Berlin, Germany. And uh, it has that uh, destruction kind of feel to it. But uh, so many great things. I love the backing gang vocals on that. I discovered this probably uh, about a week ago, I'd say, and um, just randomly found it. I think I was watching a Roger Corvick or Roger Corvick uh, video, and one of the bands he just suggested um, brought this band up in the suggestion bars, and I clicked on it because I love that fucking artwork. I was like, God damn it! I know this is fucking fresh. Clicked on it, sure enough, fuck was, and uh, right now it's one of my favorites. It just makes me feel like. Um, back in the 80s again. That's what this album feels like, the 80s. And that's why it inspired me to make this video of uh, modern bands that just uh, make it feel like the good old days of heavy metal uh, when I was young. So that that track was called uh, Deep uh, Fuck Trick Trick Wind. Oh, Tranquility. It's hard to see that. Uh, track playing right now is uh, Shrines of the Forgotten Gods. this goddamn album so I'll, I'll post links in the description below I've shown a couple of these before but um like I said it's one of those videos I just want to do that so uh let's get to the next goddamn record what's that solo Love this fucking album. So um, next up, that's number ten. So I'm just gonna count down to number one, which is not really a ranking, but ten records. Um, this one right here, I'm gonna have it playing a little bit in the background. Look at that artwork on the CD. It's fucking killer. So this is a Death Rash band out of Poland. I think this was released in 2021. It's called Pandemic Outbreak. Uh, skulls beneath the cross and holy fucking shit this is the tremolo picking in this i'm getting ready to play the track it has a little bit of an intro and the intro is called uh pandemic out or what well, fuck i can't see that i need to get glasses before i start doing this but uh it goes into a song called along the stream and holy shit 
this is a fucking awesome death rash of the modern age and if i didn't say it was released in 2020 or yeah 2021 and it came with this little strip here and uh here's the artwork pretty wicked as fucking shit um just kind of a pictures of each member and the lyrics written in gold i think that's fucking sick you can hear that haunting intro you know it's very ominous and you know you're in for a fucking ride but holy fuck i'll play this first track and it fucking rules fucking rules so here we go pandemic outbreak seen these two ever shown in in the um, in the channels or talked about so i thought i'll play those first and um yeah reactory with heavy pandemic outbreak with skulls beneath the cross and this next one i have seen people show and i'm gonna play it but holy fuck this is butcher 666 goats carry my chariot which um with the speed metal logo you know, this is going to be fucking awesome. Uh, the band's out Belgium. And I believe this was released in 2020, I want to say. And uh, uh, I've had this for a little while. And for some reason, I keep on forgetting to fucking show this motherfucker. But my God, this is some badass fucking speed metal. Uh, a little bit power metal and blackened at the same time. It starts off with this killer fucking intro.
back. This modern shit fucking rules. This is probably uh, one of the ones that really inspired this video, and I had to fucking play it. Uh, the title track has that kind of bathory, kind of Viking feel to it a little bit with the intro. I guess uh, kind of likened to a fine day to die, and um, just an absolute fucking masterpiece. Holy fuck. Big inspiration for this video. Butcher with 666 goats carrying my chariot. Fuck yeah. So, uh, that's fucking awesome. That was fucking awesome. My ears are kind of ringing a little bit. Um, this one, uh, I've shown this a couple of times. This is Bewitcher. This is Under the Witching Cross, which is in this vein, this black and speed metal fucking masterpieces right here. And I, and I show this all the time because I fucking love this goddamn album. I know, um, uh, I know I made a video and I played some of it before and uh, I deleted that video and um, decided to fucking play it again. But holy fucking shit, this album. It was, uh, man, Bewitcher's out of Portland, Oregon. Released this in 2019 um, on Shadow Kingdom Records. And, uh, my fucking God, this shit is fucking bomb. Uh, Savage Lands of Satan is the opening track. Uh, Hexen Creek, Under the Witching Cross. Fucking goddamn witch, what, what does that say? Witching Woman, Too Fast for the Flames, In the Sign of the Goat, Under the, yeah, In the Sign of the Goat. Now listen to this shit. Feels like the 80s. Fucking Bewitcher under the Witching Cross. I fucking love that motherfucker. Uh, hopefully, this is not a dumbass video. Uh, kind of playing parts of the songs so you can get a feel instead of uh, just taking my word for it. <laughs> but um, this next one, uh, they re recently. Re released a new album and I haven't got it yet and it's the only record I'm going to show on this but man this one takes me back to like early doom from the 80s and the, the vocals especially are fucking amazing I don't know if I've ever played this record or showed this record on my channel I did kind of show it to um, Marty and um, Alan last night before the chat and I was like I need to get this new album but this is the one I heard first um, and it, it's a band out of Philadelphia released this motherfucker in 2015 and uh, just a fucking amazing album Crypt Sermon uh, out of the garden and it should be playing and it is but look at that artwork fucking awesome artwork Dark Descent Records. Fucking cool inner sleeve. I love this song right here. Uh, Temple Doors.
know things are about to get epic when it starts off like that. Fuck my life. sermon that's a fucking masterpiece temple doors is the name of that track um there are so many good ones the will of the ancient call into the holy of holies the Ma master's banquet but um yeah albums that just feel like um they're bringing back the art of the early 80s and, and early 90s i guess mid 80s and late early 90s i should say um music and this fucking shit fucking rules um i don't know what else to say i just fucking love this music um and, and today has been one of those days where i've just wanted to play this and kind of share this kind of stuff um next one's another doom metal band this one's from germany i believe they're from oh shit where are they from i wrote it down because so i don't fucking forget and i already forgot yeah, they're from Germany. This this was released in 2018. This is Angel of Damnation with Heathen Witchcraft. And, um... Fucking badass. I don't see anybody talk about this. I think I played it in a video um, a way back. But, uh... Yeah, this, this fucking album. Holy fuck. Love this motherfucker. Love the artwork. Love the vocals to this. And uh, just a fucking badass motherfucker that kind of got overlooked. And, uh, fuck yes. Love how it slowly builds.
Um, uh, Brimstone Sorcery is the name of this track, obviously. <laughs> but this is good shit. So, link will be in the description below. And, uh, had a long ass fucking intro. I forgot it was that fucking long. I wanted to capture some of the vocals so you could hear it. But this is a uh, absolute fucking gem, in my opinion, of uh, Doom. German Doom at that. So, it's it seems like I don't know that many German Doom bands. So, anyway. Let's get to uh, 2015. Um, I talked a little bit about Jake Rogers in the video last night because I'm a big fan of his vocals. And uh, this this album fucking goddamn rules. And I haven't shown or talked about this album forever. Busy Goth, The Revenant King. Um, some killer ass fucking speed metal. It kind of takes you back to 1985. And um, this is the title track that's going to be playing in the background. But fans out of... Um, Salt Lake City, and um, man, this is a fucking ma magical fucking speed metal album. Man, I don't have much time, so I'm going to show just one more. So this is not going to be exactly 10. I'm going to make this 8. Because uh, my damn C, um, recording only gave me 34 fucking minutes for some goddamn reason. So I need to clear some shit off. So I'll play one more. And this is one that uh, Mark G with a C turned me on to. But it just sounds so fucking good. Like the early 90s fucking death metal bands. This is Bear Mace charred fields of slaughter fucking amazing goddamn album and i'm gonna play a little bit of this and uh the band is from uh illinois chicago released this in 2020 
uh, hibernation destroyed by bears. Fucking goddamn killer. So I guess I got two minutes. I'm gonna show the last two. Uh, Chain sword. I'm not gonna play anything. This is Blight March. March uh, released uh, Polish. I think it is Warsaw. But some killer ass fucking uh, bolt thrower worship right here. Um, fucking fantastic goddamn album. Love Chain Sword. And uh, released in 2021. And then uh, try to do this fast. Sorry guys. Uh, this one right here. This is Blood Oath. And the name of this is uh, Lost in the Eternal Silence. Um, really uh, killer fucking death metal. The bass player on this is fucking a wizard. But the band's out of Chile. And I think I played this in a video a while back. But I really wanted to show these two fucking albums. And, um, man. Fucking killer shit. Both of these motherfuckers right here. I wish I could go in more detail. God damn it. This video. Too much jamming. Snap. Anyway, hope you like this video. It's kind of fucking all over the goddamn place because I am. That's my brain. It goes from one thing to the other real quick. I can't. I can't slow it down. It's always been like that. Probably why I play bass like I do because <laughs> um, it's just really random. Anyway, you guys have a fucking good day. Hopefully, you guys find something here you'll li like. I wish I could have played those last two albums, but uh, it is what it is. Ain't got the time. Y'all have a good one. Later.